Today I'm going to show you the uh, conversion of a um, Rex C100 PID controller to 12 volts uh, using a PWM output. So the first thing I'll do is demonstrate the thing powered on. Uh, I've got a light globe there, just a little 5 watt wedge automotive globe connected to a thermal couple just for demonstration purposes to work as a heater now and this is just running off a 12 volt power supply here so I'll fire that up and this thing's switching on set to go to 40 degrees you can see the lights on now I've got the output of this um, connecting up to uh, an Arduino at the moment. Let's focus this thing. Yeah. Do the serial monitor. And you can see the duty cycle is about 30 degrees at the moment. Or 30%, sorry. And uh, the light is dimly on. And it's approaching the set value about eight degrees off now. And as it does that, the light will throttle down. But if I change the set value, say, up to 60 degrees, you see the light going right up in brightness. And the duty cycle go up to about 91%, which is the maximum the C100 will put out. Those are the um, time values in um, between the uh, on and off uh, cycles of the PWM and well, the percentage calculated in front. Uh, you can see that's backing off now. As the uh, thing gets uh, closer up to its uh, set value, it's uh, ramping it off to um, so it doesn't overshoot. Anyway, that's the demonstration of that part. Now, just shut this thing off. Now, I'll rip this out. If I can do this one-handed. There we go. Just removing the circuitry from the thing. Yeah. There we go. Now, I've gutted the original power supply and output board. And uh, made my own up here. Uh, there's the circuit essentially down there uh, the original power supply used uh, that configuration for the wires coming off the side that was the original output circuit from the microprocessor here so it uh, basically uh, pulled the output uh, to ground and one side was fixed to its 12 volt supply now the Rex C100 internally it needs a 12 volt supply for driving the relays and the output. It needs a 5 volt supply for the logic and uh, the analog circuitry. And it also needs a negative 5 volt supply for the analog circuitry. So um, essentially what I've done, I've used a, a 5 volt regulator, a, an automotive rated one, so it deals with spikes and all that sort of stuff without any troubles. Uh, I used an ICL7660 to create a negative voltage and for the output I've changed it so I can directly drive a light globe or a decent load with a P-channel FET. This one's a um, pretty tough little bastard it, uh, for its size. It um, will switch about 3.5-4 amps or so, uh, being a P-channel. So yeah, we just use some circuitry to invert the drive signal and a diode to protect it, similar to the original setup. 
and um, yeah that goes to the output. Now I'll remove this from its little clips. If I can do this one hand, there we go. I'll show you the board first hand. So it's uh, pretty simple. I've uh, used some Sika Flex to glue the capacitors down so they don't rattle out because this is going into a car to control the radiator fan. So, yeah, let's get that to focus. You can see the ICL 7660 there. And got a couple of surface mount components on the bottom, like the, um, the P channel FET. Uh, NPN transistor there and uh, one of the diodes and um, yeah you'll see that um, how I've cut the tracks away there that's where it goes into the pins inside the inside the uh, <laughs> the chassis like that there it just makes contact with uh, some pins in the back there and uh, that's how it easily goes together so that's part one of this. Uh, part two is a um, PWM controller for that uh, to drive uh, about 40 odd amps or so. We've got the basic circuitry for that below here. Uh, that, although the PWM output of this is not really fast enough to drive um, a motor, it's good for a heater or something like that, but certainly not a meat, uh, motor. So. Um, yes, yeah, so I've made this unit up here, and uh, that'll be in part two of the video. That uh, takes the uh, PWM, PWM output and um, switches it much faster and drives some FETs with it. It's also got freewheeling diodes in there too, and another voltage regulator to, to power that thing. So, yeah, that's part two.